Hello, welcome to The Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. Today is Sunday, August 6th, and today is the feast day of the Transfiguration of our Lord. Here's the commentary from the book Holy Women, Holy Men, Celebrating the Saints. The Transfiguration is not to be understood only as a spiritual experience of Jesus while at prayer, which three chosen disciples, Peter, James, and John, were permitted to witness. It is one of a series of supernatural manifestations by which God authenticated Jesus as his son. It is at one with the appearance of the angels at the birth and at his resurrection, and with the descent of the Spirit at Jesus' baptism. Matthew records the voice from heaven saying, This is my Son, the Beloved, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Briefly, the veil is drawn aside, and a chosen few are permitted to see Jesus, not only as the earth-born Son of Mary, but as the eternal Son of God. Moses and Elijah witnessed to Jesus as the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. In Luke's account of the event, they speak of the Exodus, which Jesus is to accomplish at Jerusalem. A cloud, a sign of divine presence, envelops the disciples, and a heavenly voice proclaims Jesus to be the Son of God. Immediately thereafter, Jesus announces to Peter, James, and John the eminence of his death, as Paul was later to say of Jesus. Though he was in the form of God, he did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even death on a cross. The Feast of the Transfiguration is held in the highest esteem by the Eastern churches. The figure of the transfigured Christ is regarded as a foreshadowing of the risen and ascended Lord. Let us pray. O God, who on the Holy Mount revealed to chosen witnesses your well-beloved Son, wonderfully transfigured in raiment white and glistening. Mercifully grant that we, being delivered from the disquietude of this world, may by faith behold the King in his beauty. In Jesus' name we pray.